Hello everyone this is Tuba Mirza and welcome to Recoding Today we are going to perform CRUD operation using Postgres so without further ado let's get started we have already installed postgres in a device if not then install postgres in your machine and you also need to create a user along with password and a database if you don't know how to do this you can follow this video first we set up our denon configuration file which looks somewhat similar like package.json file in node Inside denon.json file first, we need to import the schema. Then we can type a script inside it. We need to pass our start command, its description, our permission tags. and if we are using unstable module then we also need to pass that Now let's create a configuration file which holds the information about a user, database and its password. If you haven't created any database, first you need to create it inside your PG admin application. Then you can fill these details. Now we can export our database credential so that we can require it in our main application file. Now let's create our app.ts file inside it. We need to import Postgres module from its URL. Inside Postgres we need to require client class Then we can import a database credential from a configuration.ts Then we need to initiate a client as const client equals await new client then inside it pass our database credential then we can execute our code inside try catch block inside our try block we can connect our client using our credential and we can also pass inside the terminal that the client is connected
If there is any error in this process, a cache block console log that error. Then we can end a connection from the database using client.end statement. Now let's fire up our server. Inside the terminal, type denon start. So here inside the terminal, you can see that our database has been connected. Now let's create a table as const create table equal await client dot query. Then inside a query, we need to pass Postgres query language to create a table. So type create table, then pass the name of the table. Then inside a table, we need to pass our column details, which we need to create and what should be its type. As here, we are passing ID as serial, which helps to auto increment the ID. Then inside our name column, we pass it as text, which should be unique and not null. Now let's save our code and open up PG admin app. Let's refresh our page. Then in our table database inside schema section, we can see that a table has been created. Let's now insert some of the data inside the database as const add data equals await client dot query. Then inside it, we need to pass insert into the pass our table name and which column should be filled. Then we need to pass its values as string. Let's save our code and open the browser. To check out that our data has been saved or not inside our table section on the column section, press right click and view data as all rows. This will show all the data inside the column. Now let's perform update operation. So inside our app.ts file, create const update data equals await client dot query then pass update then type name of table then we need to type name of our column. and pass the data to be updated. Then we need to type a query where its ID will be 1. Then save our code. 
Oh, we forgot to type our table name correctly as it should be personal information not personal. Now save our code. And here you can see that our data has been updated. Now let's read all the data. Inside a query data, pass select, then type asterisk which means all, then type from and pass our table name. Let's console log our data. And here you can see that a database has appeared, but not quite in form we used to. As all the data from rows are arranged differently and columns are different. To bring our data somewhat like JSON format, we need to apply some trickery. First, we need to create an array. Then, we can map our get all the data as row wise. Then inside it, we can get our row items. Then let's create another empty object which will be of type any. Now we need to map our column data from get all the data constant. Inside it, we get our column items along with the index. Then we can set the column object for each column item equals to every row items. Then we can push our each object inside an array. Then console log out statement. So here you can see that our data has been appeared. Let's comment our statement. Now let's delete some of our data. Inside a query function type delete. From then pass the table name along with ID which we want to delete.
let's save our code. And here you can see that our data has been deleted. Now let's delete all the data from the database. First, add another data. If we don't pass any unique data inside our database, it will show error as our name should be unique. Change our data name. And save our code. Now let's just delete all the data inside our query type delete from type table name. And here you can see that our all the data has been deleted. So this is how we can perform CRUD operation inside Postgres. Please do suggest other videos regarding Deno or any other topic. And don't forget to like our videos. For now, I'm signing off. We'll see you in the next video.